This golden seismograph, conserved at the National Museum of China, resembles in appearance a beer barrel. On its outer walls, we find perched eight dragons, evenly distributed, their heads looking down while their jaws stand slightly open. Within each of their jaws lies a small bronze ball. Crouching on the floor, under the dragons, we find eight toads on all fours on the ground, with their heads raised and open mouths. Zheng Hung, the seismograph's inventor, was a famous scientist of the Eastern Han Dynasty. It so turns out that the barrel-like seismograph at the National Museum was a replica of Zheng Hung's original seismograph, produced in 1951 by the National Museum of China's foremost restorer, Wang Zhengdou. However, due to the scarcity of the national records upon which his reconstruction of the seismograph had been based, the piece would not work as a reliable predictor of earthquakes. As we open up the seismograph, we immediately find that its internal structure is composed of two main parts. At the center of the seismograph lies a copper column, surrounded by eight levers in all direction. These connect with the dragons perched upon the outer walls of the device. When the earthquake occurs, inertia will make the central copper column incline itself towards a given lever, which will activate the mechanism in the outer wall's corresponding dragon. It will in turn release the ball in its mouth and thus report the direction of the earthquake. However, in reality, the movement of the seismograph's bronze column could be very random. Furthermore, man-made tremors and natural tremors could not be differentiated. This all made this particular reconstruction of the ancient seismograph an inaccurate instrument. In 2002, a small research team composed of seismologists and archaeologists was created to investigate how best to reconstruct the famed seismograph of Zheng Hung, which had gained fame during the Eastern Han Dynasty. The first thing that needed solving was the interior mechanism of the seismograph to make it successfully point out where earthquakes had happened. Earthquakes are caused by the movement of rock formations under the Earth's crust. While any other shockwaves will produce vertical tremors, only seismic shockwaves will cause the horizontal rocking that we know as earthquakes. Hence, a seismograph's monitoring of earthquakes must react to the horizontal rocking of the Earth's crust caused by seismic shockwaves. It must, at the same time, block out any interference caused by any other type of vertical movement, which is certain not to come from an earthquake. The research team thus installed a bat-shaped pendulum at the center with eight evenly spaced levers around it, each of them linked to the central pendulum with their corresponding eight small bronze balls on the outer wall. During mock earthquakes, the pendulum would indeed rock to and fro. This, however, would activate the two levers in the direction of the earthquake, as well as the one on its opposite side, releasing the two corresponding bronze pellets. It thus seemed that by using simple pendulum theory, one could only get two opposing pellets, one of which was placed in the direction of the earthquake. However, it remained a mystery how one could actually find out which one of the two pellets actually represented the direction of the earthquake. The only actual historical records regarding Zheng Hung's original design were 196 characters in a short passage called Zheng Hung's Biography in the Book of Eastern Han. A particular part in the text attracted the expert's attention where it was stated that Zheng Hung's seismograph two crucial components called a guan and ji within the machine's mechanism. Experts placed an extra bronze ball below their pendulum. This was the guan record spoke of, which would increase the sensitivity of the pendulum. Furthermore, surrounding it, eight canals would be installed, connected to the levers that activated the eight dragon heads on the walls of the seismograph. These were the ji. As the shock waves from the earthquake came in, the pendulum would start moving in two opposite directions, while the bronze guang pellet would roll down one of the canals at which end stood of one of the levers, or G, which would release the bronze ball within the dragon's mouth. Thus, by a mechanism that made the guang activate the G, a single bronze ball ejected from the dragon's jaws would determine the exact direction of the earthquake. This design was at once consummately scientific and simply effective. 
all that was left was actually testing the device. The experts first placed a number of spring toys around the seismograph on the seismic simulator. As soon as the simulated tremors began, the spring toys began moving frantically up and down, clearly not the reaction to a natural earthquake. Yet, neither the pendulum nor the small guang pellet on the seismograph registered any reaction. This proved clearly that the device would not be fooled by artificial interference. Then, experts produced five simulations of what would be actual earthquakes. As soon as the simulation began to cause horizontal rocking, before it would have become perceivable to humans, the small ball inside the seismograph had already rolled down one of the canals, activating the mechanism that accurately identified the direction of the earthquake. Thus, the internal mechanism of the ancient seismograph had finally been successfully reproduced. In the passage on Zheng Hong's biography in the Book of Eastern Han, we find the seismograph described as a Zun liquor decanter. The Zun is one of the classic ancient Chinese liquor vessels. Amongst unearthed pieces from the Han Dynasty, one finds several Zun decanters. This is the Hufu Western Han Dynasty Zun unearthed in Shanxi Province in 1962, while this is a Phoenix Zun from the Eastern Han Dynasty. From these examples, we find that the Han Dynasty Zuns were round in shape with straight walls and deep abdomens, nothing like a beer barrel. Again, referring to the historical records leads those seeking a faithful reconstruction of the Zheng Hong seismograph to revise their designs for the dragons and the toads. The dragon is a totemic symbol of the Chinese nation, and its image has undergone a gradual evolution through the ages. The 1951 reconstruction of the seismograph's flamboyant dragons are as how they would have been portrayed during the Ming and Qing dynasties. However, Han Dynasty dragon bodies would have simpler, terser figures. Even the position of the toads in the overall design have been changed and have them with their backs facing the body of the seismograph from where they can both receive the falling bronze balls and serve as the feet of the entire piece sustaining the base itself. The new reproduction was 2.8 meters tall with a diameter of 1.88 meters, circular with straight walls and a domed ceiling. Eight dragons are perched on the walls of this masterpiece, each with a bronze pellet in their jaws while the golden toes at the bottom sustain the entire seismograph, their heads lifted and their mouths open wide. The entire piece is of a magnificent golden color. Zhang Hung was a renowned scientist during the Eastern Han Dynasty, famed for his interdisciplinary character. The United Nations commemorated the contributions of Zhang Hung to humanity by naming a round hillock on the back of the moon Mount Zhang Hung, while the star numbered 1802 in the solar system is named after Zhang Hung. Zhang Hung's masterpiece is the father of all seismic instruments. Indeed, according to ancient records, it measured an earthquake in western Gansu province in 134 AD. By then, Zheng Hong's seismograph had been placed within the capital of Luoyang. One day, one of the bronze pallets from the seismograph suddenly fell. According to its position, Zheng Hong reported that several li to the west of the capital an earthquake had occurred. However, the imperial ministers gave no credence to his reports until a few days later news came through a messenger on horseback that a tragic earthquake had struck the west of Gansu. This convinced the emperor and his officials of the power of Zheng Hong's invention. His seismograph is the pride and glory of the Chinese people. It took five years from 2002 to 2007 for a group of experts to finally rediscover its secrets and construct his magnificent piece. It immediately won the recognition of archaeologists and scientists, becoming an instant national treasure.